Aquarius, it, it's opening up, it's revealing, it's exposing, it's showing. We're showing people magic. We're showing people the occult. We're showing people what's going on. As black magicians, as practitioners of the dark arts, as infernal legionnaires of the infernal empire, as rulers and commanders of our own life, as gods and goddesses, as spiritual beings living in a body, <laughs> we're not waiting for anyone to come save us. We're not waiting for anyone to come help us or to do something for us. We initiate, we instigate, and we take control. Infernal blessings, everyone, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Ella Setu, owner of Black Dragon Immortalis. This team reveal video that we have put together is to introduce you to the new Black Dragon. With the guidance of Lucifer and Joshua Savage, we have been fitting the pieces back together and we have come back even stronger. Myself, Linda, and Erin are Black Dragon's gatekeepers. We have made a promise to protect it and to continue with Joshua's work and vision along with the original goals of Black Dragon. The three of us worked closely with Joshua and we were the core team of Black Dragon Paranormal. As I mentioned before in a previous video, you probably didn't see much of us as we worked from the shadows helping Joshua run Black Dragon and you still probably won't see too much of us as we'll be very busy operating Black Dragon day to day but we might drop in and surprise you once in a while and record a video with the rest of the team. On behalf of myself, Linda and Aaron, we welcome you to the new Black Dragon. We are a group of occultists, demonologists, magic practitioners, prodigies, mediums, alchemists, healers, summoners, channelers, necromancers, and more. And while Black Dragon works very closely with the Demonic Divine, we also work with many other different entities outside of the Infernal and within different pantheons and traditions. You will see a glimpse into our paths and the beings that we work with and we will teach you how to work with them as well. Expect to also hear us talk about my beloved Santa Muerte, the Orishas, Angels, the Loa, Hindu, Sumerian, and Egyptian gods, interdimensional beings, aliens, shapeshifters, along with many other topics, some taboo and some controversial. So come with an open mind and stay for the knowledge because we have a lot of content. Hi, this is Morgan with Black Dragon Immortalis, and I've been practicing magic since I was 13. I was brought up Catholic and attended school from kindergarten through senior year in Catholic school. Um, although I did that, I still practiced magic, mainly right-hand path magic, as well as paganism. Um, it wasn't until about a year and a half ago that I discovered that my husband is a left-hand path practitioner, and I wanted to learn everything that I could and began doing my research. I then felt quite at home and decided that the left-hand path was for me, and I've been living it ever since. Um, I also am a tarot card reader, and I channel spirit. My main objective with Black Dragon Immortalis is to teach others the things that I discover, as well as learn from those that have learned more than I. Um, I would also say that my most important objective is to help propel forth the work that our late founder Joshua Savage began before he passed, sadly this last year in January. Um, I know that Black Dragon Immortalis is going to continue to be the most incredible occult movement the world has ever seen. So that is it for today, and I look forward to seeing you all on the other side. Welcome everybody to Black Dragon Immortalis. My name is Vincent. For those that don't know me, I've been a solitary practitioner for the last 32 years. Last year, my wife joined me on the journey, and together we take on the infernal darkness. I look forward to teaching you, as well as learning from you. As far as what I bring to the table for Black Dragon Immortalis, is the complete and total darkness. I look forward to seeing you there. Hey, what's up everyone? <clears throat> Welcome to Black Dragon Immortalis. This is Eli Mercury here, and I thought I would be sharing a little bit about myself. Um, I've been studying the Clip-Off, the Goetia, um, working with Chaos Magic, Black Magic. Um, I'm very well versed in energy working, energy healing, psychic vampirism, um, 
I'm really in tune with my psychic senses, channeling, possession, talking to spirits. Um, definitely not the best at seeing spirits currently. Um, that's one of those skills that I'm working on. Although, if I do try hard enough, I can definitely hear them. Um, but yeah, I'm basically well-versed around self-mastery in general and obtaining personal godhood and being able to reach the max of my own and your own personal capabilities. Um, I'm excited to work with Black Dragon Immortalis. I see a lot of potential. I see a lot of stuff happening in the future and I just felt like I should join the team. Hey guys, it's Mark from Modern Magician and I'm now part of Black Dragon Immortalis. I was a devout Christian for almost 30 years of my life and I had an amazing, uh, pretty terrifying spiritual encounter and it entirely changed my entire perception of what I thought I knew and all the information I'd researched for so long. This incident drew attention to the fact that I was focused so much on the right-hand path and the sort of good aspects of my life and of spiritualism that I completely ignored the darkest, uh, difficult to approach, difficult to deal with aspects of my innermost being. And what that meant was that I was unbalanced because it was all one side and not the other. And I recognized this and realized that I had to confront my deepest, darkest fears in order to come out the other side as a balanced um, individual and to be able to remain centered through everything that life throws at you, essentially. This journey has been one of the most difficult and one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life. And it's something I continue to do on a daily basis. Um, I work with spirits and entities such as Lucifer, such as Azazel and such as Mephisto. I have called upon a great deal more spirits, but these are the main three spirits that I tend to work with on a daily basis. And because I understand how you can feel, you get the impression that everything's falling apart around you whilst you are uh, initiating through this path working, I'm here to hold your hand and explain to you exactly what's happening at each step of the way because I've actually been through it and come out the other side in one piece but you do have to be broken down before you can be rebuilt. This is the hub from Black Dragon Immortalis. I will be sharing my own experiences as well as helping others connect with the ancients. Within this path, there are many experiences, both positive and negative, but it's up to you to take control, help yourself ascend to a higher level of understanding and put yourself first to help you grow in all facets of life. Hello family, uh, my name is O'Shea. As well, you can call me Atanu. Uh, I'm new to this Black Dragon Immortalis family, but um, I've been on this path of magic now for at least consciously five years. Uh, I've been walking it with Lucifer at least four of those years, but I as well have felt him with me my whole life. And with this, I, I just want to say uh, my skills and abilities are the ability to evoke spirits, whether it be daemon, angel, elemental, um, bring the spirits around me, as well as invoke them, take them within me to absorb and understand their knowledge. Um, spell work, using different deities to um, create change within myself or as well my surroundings and my world. Uh, as well, I'm an occultist and I like to inform and teach the occult. These are the things in which I bring to the table for the Black Dragon Immortalis community. And with that, have an amazing day, family. Osain kulesekan kulesemeye, eti okan, oyu okan, nika terefun osain. Hello everybody, this is Ekundayo with Black Dragon Immortalis. And tonight, I'm going to be doing a quick introductory video on who I am and what I'm about. So that which you see in front of you is Osain. Osain is the witch, the warlock, el brujo of the Afro-Cuban religion known as Santeria or Orisha worship. I am a disciple of Osain. 
However, I am also initiated into the religion as a priest of Chang'o. Chang'o is regarded as a king of our religion. He is the warrior god of fire, of lightning, and thunder. Therefore, it's no surprise to me that he has been often associated with Lucifer. Osain is the godfather of Chang'o. He gifted the ability to breathe fire to Chang'o. So therefore, it is no surprise that I am a disciple of Osain and also a priest of Chang'o. There's a whole lot more content to this on just Osain as a cult and Chang'o and how that deific mask relates to Lucifer. So be on the lookout for more content from me regarding Santeria, my experience, my journey, my initiations, so on and so forth. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you're following us on Instagram and you are following us on Facebook. Until then, I love ya. Growing up, I've always had an interest in the occult. I've studied many different spiritual systems, utilizing the parts that work best for me and discarding the rest. I started off as a young teen with one book on magic and a deck of tarot cards. And since then, my library has grown as well as my experience. I graduated from simple candle magic spells to goetic evocations. I've recently aligned myself with a particular group of occultists, a particular group of people who want to help you on your path of self-mastery. We want to teach you our tricks of the trade. I am Brother Rama, and I am Black Dragon Immortalis. Thank <laughs> you.